I'm Paul Bredwell and I'm with the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association and, and today I'm visiting the wastewater treatment plant at the Fielddale Further Processing Plant in Gainesville, Georgia. I'm here because this wastewater treatment plant has been selected as a semi-finalist for U.S. Poultry's 2014 Clean Water Award. I'm here with Alex Sullivan who is the wastewater supervisor for the wastewater treatment plant. Alex, as we, as we walked around the facility today, you, you pointed out a number of things, and, and very impressive. Um, a couple things that, that, that the judging committee noticed was, number one, you, you operate a number of DAFs here, and, and with those DAFs, you obviously create a, a lot of sludge, a lot of DAF skimmings that you have, to, you have to deal with. And one of the things you talked about was a new system that you put in place to try to reduce the moisture content of that of that DAF skimmings so that you can handle them better. Um, can you talk about that new system that you recently put in, in, in place here? At the end of 2009, we placed uh, a UMDK canning kettle system into our uh, facility uh, with, uh, with the hopes of reducing uh, some of our SBN loads and, and uh, the trucking expense and, and land of uh, costs involved with uh, this facility. Uh, what that system's allowed us to do is reduce our uh, overall sludge volume of about 60%. Uh, we were at about 27 loads a week going out of this facility, uh, and now we're down between 11 and 13, uh, depending on week. So uh, the savings from that is uh, substantial uh, uh, operation. Fantastic. And, you know, one of the things you talked about, because this is a further processing plant, the makeup of the wastewater characteristics changes on a, on a daily basis. Can, can you talk about how you kind of deal with, with the, the differing characteristics of the wastewater? Well, here we deal with uh, several issues. Um, uh, being a further process, we have many uh, uh, breaded products. Uh, we have a lot of oil in the facility, along with uh, uh, many marinated type products, wings, uh, different types of fillets, and that kind of thing. Um, anytime we deal with the marinades, um, uh, the buttermilks, and any of those, you've got a, a, a combination of a, a bakery type waste and a, a chicken processing type of waste. Uh, Giving, uh, giving it a lot of challenges and fluctuations, shiftly and um, uh, during the day. Um, compensating for that, keeping it balanced, keeping everything in equalization is, is something we, we uh, continuously have to work on. Uh, sanitation chemicals are an issue too. When you talk about uh, quantitative ammonia and, and the different chlorines, uh, uh, those can, those can, uh, uh, can, if overused, can give us some trouble also. Okay. Um, as far as buffering, uh, some of our, our best buffering of our wastewater comes off our cooling towers because we do get uh, a large amount of water and that does help us at times uh, with some of the transfer delays of those uh, uh, processing lines. Well, you know, clearly you're, you're, uh, you're, you're handling um, how, that, how that characteristic changes. You're doing a great job with your wastewater here. And, uh, we, we just appreciate the opportunity to, to tour the facility today and you know we'll, we'll announce the winner of the Clean Water Award here in, in a few weeks uh, at U.S. Poultry's Environmental Management Seminar. Um, so we hope you'll be there. Oh, absolutely. I'd, I'd like to wish you all the luck. I appreciate it. Thank you, Alan. Thank you.